troops. How are you today? Hope all's well with you. And I'm uh, going to play a tune, teach a tune, uh, Janis Joplin, um, Peace of My Heart, um, a 60s classic, and a uh, pretty cool tune to have in your repertoire. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. And if you will, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate your support of the channel. And uh, like and comment. You know, let me know where you're from, uh, how long you've been playing, things like that. So, um, okay. So it's in, you want, the song, if you were to play along with the recording, it seems like it's a little bit sharp to me, so you might want to, um, you know, keep that in mind. If you're going to play along with a chord, you might want to, you know, have your tuning just a, a little bit sharp, not quite, not quite a half step or anything, but I have my guitar and just regular standard tuning. So, um, what we're going to do here is an F sharp. like the chords it's during the intro it's the F sharp to A to C sharp to B to D back to B then then the verse Okay, but while all that's going on, you have the solo, and I just played it just a second ago. So what we're doing here, that's an F sharp pentatonic. Okay, second uh, and fourth fret uh, on the G, uh, fourth, you know, on the uh, G and B string. Okay. And then that's over the A chord. That's the A triad. Then that's over the B chord. And then that's over the C sharp. So. Okay, and then you're going to go on to a, a B triad, so that is, that's on uh, strings, uh, the D, G, and B, 7th uh, fret, 8th fret, I mean like ninth fret, 8th fret, 7th fret. This is at the 11 of G to... Uh, E. And um, each episode we talk about, oh, we take one and we talk. Uh, all right. 11 of G to E. Uh, 11 of E. Back to 11 of G. Okay, then you're at the D. Play a D triad there on the fourth, third, and second strings. Then that's G14, E14, back to back to G14. Okay. I'm sorry, it's uh That's what it is. Uh all right. D triad G14 E14 then you slide to E17. Okay, so now you're at the B, so you go on. These are intervals of six. So it's you're at the uh, 11th fret. Of the uh, and you play the G and the E string. 
And you slide down to nine, play G and E. You ain't playing the G and E string on all these. Just those two strings. Then you're at eight of G and seven of E. So, so far we have. Then G6, E5. Then B4 and E4. Then E2, uh, G2 and E2. So it's. back down to, to a G4 and E4, G6, E5, and this is a G8 and, and B and a G8 and E7 back to G8, so it's going to go. Now we're going to slide down G13 E12 to G11 E11 G9 E9 Okay and then you're going to finish up at G8 and E7 <clears throat> Just keep in mind that um, the guitar player probably didn't play this the same way. I know for a fact that he didn't. Uh, there's, if you listen to a live recording, it's the intro is not even the same as this. So um, keep in mind that you know you can phrase this the way how you want to. Um, you know, I I wouldn't. I tried my best to go note for a note on this. It wasn't really the easiest thing to find on the recording. So that was basically my interpretation of it. So just kind of go slowly. Okay. So now we're at the... doing here playing a this is an E and I kind of like just having playing like so instead of the E like that because what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna play an open E D2 and then hammer with the, a G string like from a hammer and pull off from a the open G to the first fret back to the open G so it's and I think he also does it to the B string too, so it's I've also heard either one. These are things that I think that, you know, however you want to do it is fine. I don't think it's mandatory. I, as long as you kinda of, either way either way is fine. Then it's a Then you're at the A. I'm barring it. If you want to play it like so, you can. This is more comfortable for me. I'm just playing a, the low, um, the uh, bass note on the E string. And I'm doing the hammer on the third string from uh, five to six. So, four string. Hard to do that slow. Then at the B to A. 
Hey. So now we're at the uh, pre chorus C sharp minor. So it's B. Sharp minor, B, D, B. Now at the chorus. That's just an uh, E power chord. And I'm kind of going open E, and then I'm, I'm playing how I'm doing it. I'm have the E bar chord and an open E string. Then I'm playing the seventh fret of A. B, A sharp, so that's a A, so it's, it's a G sharp minor, F sharp minor, and that's pretty much it. It's going to go back to... Um, the the second the the second verse and the pre-chorus and there's going to be uh, another of the it's not going to be the exact same solo but um, I figured this would be good enough just to kind of take you from to from the opening the intro uh, until till the very end of the uh, chorus the first chorus so that'll give you all the information you pretty much need for the song. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today. I thank you very much for watching. And uh, I will see you at another video down the road here soon. You all have a great day, y'all. All right, bye.